violent collision left marks on the Andromeda galaxy. By examining the makeup and motion of a large number of stars in the galaxy, astronomers were able to spot the telltale signals of the catastrophe by studying the structure and the movements of more than 500 stars in the close-by galaxy, astronomers have been able to reconstruct the tumultuous and disastrous history of Andromeda, our closest galactic neighbour. However, how did we come to learn about it in the first place? How did we know it was a galaxy similar to our own? Do we know if life can exist on Andromeda? And will we ever be able to travel there? Hi guys, welcome back to Beyond Unknown. Today we'll be taking a look at the terrifying truth about the Andromeda galaxy that NASA is hiding for years. Make sure to stick till the end of this video as we have a lot to cover and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like today's video. It helps us a long way. And let's get started. The nearest massive neighbour of the Milky Way, which is located 2.5 million light years away from Earth, is Andromeda. It's assumed that it interacted with globular clusters and other galaxies several times, resulting in the formation of features like Andromeda's giant stellar stream. Recently, in an area of Andromeda called the Northeast Shelf, scientists were able to distinguish the different chemical makeups and motions of 556 red giant branch stars. The researchers came to the conclusion that the shelf is a tidal feature, or a stream of stars and material created by gravitational interactions with another galaxy, and that the majority of its material is left over wreckage from this cosmic crash. Ivana Escala, a postdoctoral researcher at Carnegie Observatories in Pasadena, California, who took part in the new research, said in a statement, the leftovers of each crash may be detected by monitoring the movement of the stars and their chemical compositions. She continued, Taken together, this data acts as a kind of fingerprint that identifies stars that joined a galaxy in a collision. The researchers expect that by examining these streams of material, they will be able to learn more about how galaxies gain matter, as well as the galaxy's past, present and future characteristics. The findings were presented on June 13th during the American Astronomical Society convention that was held in California. Located in the constellation Andromeda, the Andromeda galaxy is a barred spiral galaxy that is 2.48 million light years from Earth. Its sighting in the night sky has been documented for many centuries and has the official designation Messier 31 or M31, also known as NGC 224. Although the earliest record of it appeared in the book of the fixed stars by the Persian astronomer Abdul Rahman al-Sufi in 964 CE, it's impossible to identify who found it because it is visible to the human eye on a clear and a dark night because of its apparent magnitude of 3.4. Edwin Hubble, an American astronomer, was the first to clearly show in 1925 that Andromeda was a different galaxy from our own and not a nebula as was previously believed. Because it is the farthest distant object in the cosmos that can be seen with the unaided eye and shares many characteristics with our own galaxy, the Andromeda galaxy is likewise particularly significant to astronomers. Andromeda is our closest and largest neighbour in the galaxy, despite long-standing misconceptions that it is merely a little nebula. The Andromeda Nebula was designated Messier 31 by French astronomer Charles Messier in 1774, making it the 31st object in his list of things to avoid when looking for comets. Messier's first interest in the items he was cataloguing wasn't all that great. To help avoid false positive comet identifications, Messier, an ardent comet hunter, prepared his list of objects that could be easily mistaken for comets. But M31's brightness made it a subject of particular intrigue for astronomers, including British scientist William Herschel, who believed it to be the nearest of the universe's great nebulae. Astronomers Herbert E. Curtis and Harley Sharpley engaged in a great debate concerning the size of the cosmos in 1920 and the Andromeda Nebula had a role in it. The Andromeda Nebula and other spiral nebulae, according to Curtis, are truly distinct galaxies, and the Milky Way is only one among many galaxies. Shapley disagreed, 
claiming that the nebulae were only spiral pockets of gas and that there was only the cosmos, which was essentially just the Milky Way and no galaxies. The discussion came to an end without a clear winner, but half a decade later, Edwin Hubble would utilize information from a particular class of stars in the Andromeda Nebula to estimate its distance from us to be close to a million light years, which is significantly further than the Milky Way's furthest star. The galaxy question was essentially answered by this. The Andromeda Galaxy, estimated to be between 1 and 2 trillion solar masses in Mars, is assumed to be roughly 10 billion years old and was most likely created by the union of several smaller proto-galaxies. While the mass of the Milky Way has increased, recent study has somewhat lowered the mass of the Andromeda Galaxy, which was previously believed to be significantly larger than our own galaxy. The two galaxies' masses are expected to be significantly closer together than previously assumed. Its physical dimensions, which are larger than those of our own galaxy, with a diameter of about 220,000 light-years, as opposed to the Milky Way's 100,000 to 175,000 light years, are undisputed. Andromeda is not just numerically larger than the Milky Way, but it's also the largest galaxy in the local group in terms of size, though not in terms of mass. It is well known that the Andromeda galaxy has an extremely active galactic core and a dense star cluster close to its center. The galactic core appears to have two points of concentration when it is seen by Hubble, with the second point of concentration being a brighter concentration that is located just off the true galactic center. A supermassive black hole located at this second position was most recently estimated to be between 1.1 1 .1 and 2.3 108 solar masses, or 110 to 230 million suns. It's believed that stars clumping together around the perihelion of their eccentric orbits around the core black hole is what causes the brighter point of concentration. The Andromeda Galaxy is expected to have 460 globular clusters, which indicates that it has been an active eater of smaller galaxies and is why it is regarded as typical for a spiral galaxy. The Andromeda Galaxy may possibly be changing from a spiral galaxy to a somewhat uncommon type of galaxy known as a ring galaxy. The hidden overlapping arms that show up in infrared light to suggest a ring structure surrounding the galactic nucleus can be used to infer this. Considered to hold the most stars of any galaxy in the local group, the Andromeda Galaxy is estimated to contain roughly 1 trillion stars. This is most likely caused by Andromeda's interactions and absorption of smaller galaxies over the previous several billion years. Because Andromeda has used up the majority of its native interstellar hydrogen gas, the age of the galaxy and observational data suggest that the rate of star creation is declining. This implies that the Andromeda Galaxy's population of young stars will eventually be surpassed by stellar remnants and slowly fading red dwarfs, causing it to fall into the red galaxy category. It's even more difficult to say whether there may be life, or at least the prerequisites for life, in another galaxy, because we're unable to say for sure whether any other stars in our own galaxy are hosts to life. So if the Earth hasn't already been devoured by our Sun, or at least cooked into utter sterility, when the process begins, it will have done so by the time the union is complete. And that ends our episode. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe and leave a comment down below on your thoughts. And don't forget to like today's video. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.